Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and now I'm recording Unique Order Sums from the KG Constraints Pack. I do not remember testing this one. It's possible that I did, but I don't remember testing this one. So, um... Yeah, I'm just I'm just going to jump straight into it. So let's have a look. Unique order sums by Mavericks JD from the KG Constraints Pack. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. Um, then there are numbered cages in the grid. Sorry, I just had to check my recording. There are numbered cages in the grid. All cages are ordered showing the sum of the digits the cage contains. Cage one has the lowest sum, cage 14 has the highest. So this has the lowest sum of all of the cages, this has the highest. Okay, not sure how that's gonna work. Let's restart the puzzle, restart the time, and let's give this a shot. So there are 14 cages. So what would be the sums if they were absolutely minimum? So the minimum sum is three, the maximum sum is 17. So three, so, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is, is that 16? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There are 15. So there's one cage sum that isn't included. So this is either three or four. So it must contain a one and it's either one, two or one, three. This is either, right. Well, this is either six, um, 17 or 16 and it can't be 16 because to be 16, it'd need to be nine, seven and it can't be. So this is eight, nine. Okay, so this is either three or four, which means the 13th cage. Oh, how is this gonna work? But this is the fourth cage, but these are the second and the third. So if this was two, this could be the third, three. So this could be three or four. This could be, is that right? This could be three or four, and this could be four or five. But if this wasn't five, if this was higher than five, say this was six, it'd be six, seven, was the fifth? Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So actually it could be six. So if I got that wrong, could this be four? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there's, ooh, this could be, f right, this is three or four. So this is four or five, this is five or six. So this is four or five. So it's either one, three, or two, three, or one, four. So this is four or five, and this is five or six. If this is four, one, three, Hang on, if this was one, three, minimum this could be now is six because two and four is the minimum it could be. So if this is four, the minimum this could be is six. And if this is five, the minimum this could be is six. So this is always a six cage. So let me just mark some numbers here. If this was six, then four would be seven. Five would be eight, six would be nine, six, seven, eight, nine, seven would be ten, eight would be eleven, nine would be twelve, thirteen would be thirteen. Hang on. No, that's sorry, nine would be 12, 10 would be 13, 11 would be 14, 12 would be 15, 13 would be 16, and 14 is 17. So this is forced because this can't be five. Because if this is five, this would have to be four and I can't make those sum to nine. So this is always six. So this is one, five or two, four. One, five or two, four. Now, if 
if this and this sums to three or four. Hang on. No, four or five. So it's four or five. If it's four, it's one, three, and this is two, four. If it's five, so these are either one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, five. If it's five, it's two, three, and this is one, five. Okay. But now I know the sum of all of the cages except that one and that one. So this sums to seven without using a one. So it's two, five, or three, four. There's something easier going on here of me. So there's a six in one of those two. Oh, this is a five, six pair. Let's just do some Sudoku. So these are one or eight. Is there more Sudoku I can do? This isn't three. Sums to seven. Well, hang on. If this can't be one six, so it's either two five or three four. That's forced, right? So there is a one, two, three triple here. So one, two, three, four, five. These are four, five, and six. Meaning there's a six in one of those two. I. This sums to eight. This cage sums to eight. Minimum here, oh no, but this could go down. But I can't use a 2 in it. In fact, 2 is down here somewhere. But I could use, I can't use 1, 7. Oh, I can't use 1, 7 because there's a 1 in here. I can't use 2, 6. This is 3, 5. So there's no 5 here. 5 is in one of those two, which means 5 is up here. This is 3, 5. This has to sum to 16. Oh, hang on. This sums to 16. This is the 7, 9. And then the 15, which is cage 12, is either 6, 6, 9, or 7, 8. But this is a 7, 9. The three, of course, takes three out of there. This is a three cage, which is fine. So these are four, six, eight. There's no four there. See, uh, this is, and this is where the fact that this is an 11 cage, the mark that make that an 11 cage is interfering with my five pencil mark. Yeah, this is, because this has to sum to seven. Arg. Oh, the five, six makes that three and that the five. So we know five is eight. So six is seven. Where is cage six? Cage Oh no, this is this sums to nine. It can't be one eight. It could be two seven. It could be three six. It could be four five. They're the only possibilities. Oh, the one two pair makes this the three. This cage had to sum to seven because six, right, this is a seven. So this is a four, this is a six, this is a five. The six takes six out of those. So that is the eight, that is the four, taking four out of there. 
eight, nine isn't in any of those. Remembering what the cages sum to is tricky. That's not four, but I still don't know whether this sums to three or f uh, four or five. At least I don't think that's not three. I'm probably doing this badly. There's no three here, and we know this cage sums to nine. So there's no six here. This is two or five. This is four or seven. Oh, we know this sums to six. So there's no four there, so there's no two there. Threes. Three here takes three out of here. Three there takes three out of there. So three is in one of those two. Is that... So I know that this has to sum to 12. No, hang on. 15. So 11 has to sum to... Cage 11 has to sum to 14. So this sums to 14. I could use 9-5. I can't use 8-6. Right, this has to be 9-5. This is 9-5, because this has to sum to 14. 9-5 and 8-6 are the only possibilities. So this is 5-9, which means this is 7, this is 8. And these are 1 and 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, right. These are one and two. Now that's got to be a problem, doesn't it? No. But this sums to 13. Because this 15, cage 11 is 14. So this is 13. So 9, 4 is not possible. 8, 5 is not possible. So 7, 6 is what this is. So this is 6, 7, which means this is 4, which means this is 5, because cage 6 is 9. Yeah, 7, 5, whatever, 5 would be 8, and then 6 is 9, wherever cage 5 is. I, keep, I can't keep track of them all. There it is, 8, 9. So this is 4, 5, which takes 4 out of there. Now this can't, oh, this is either 1, 2, 1, 3, or 2, 3 now. So that's a 3, because it has to sum to 4 or 5, so there must be a 3 in it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Well, there's no 3 there, this is the 3. 6, 7, these are 8 and 9, and the 9 makes that the 8 and that the 9. This is so strange. Now, cage 6 is 9, cage 7 is 10. I can't use 1, 9, I can't use 2, 8, I can't use 4, 6. So this is 3, 7. So this sums to 11. Can't use 9, 2, can't use 8, 3, can't use 7, 4. This is 5, 6, and the 5 tells me that's the 5 and that's the 6. This is incredibly strange. Now, this cage summed to 6, and I can't use a 5 in it anymore. So this isn't 1, 5, so it's 2 and 4, which means, of course, this is now a 1, 3. So it's 3, 4, 6, and now we go up. This digit is just a 1 by Sudoku. The one makes this two and this one by Sudoku. So what do we have? We've completed... Actually, I might want, I'm more tempted to mark what I haven't completed. Which I think is just this cage. So cage eight 
wherever it is, 8 or 10, I'm looking for. So this sums to 13. So this has to sum to 12. I can't use 9, 3. Well, let's just write this triple in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But I need to put 12 in there, so I can't put a 6 in there. That's the 5, 7. That's the 6. And I am now done with the contents of the cages. And let's just confirm. 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There you go. Okay. There's no one there and hasn't been since the beginning. Oh, one and four make that the eight, which makes that the one and that the four. This is a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. And the seven makes that the nine and that the seven, which makes that the five and that the seven. And the five looks across making that the nine and that the five. This is a pair. One and eight. And I'll use the one to make that the eight and that the one, which looks like making that the two and that the one. There are almost certainly better ways of doing this, but like, <laughs> see that? Something about given digits. But, oh well, I'm having, I'm having fun. If you're having fun and I'm having fun, who's getting hurt by me being a bit dumb? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two and nine. I don't know. So one, two, six, nine go into those. There's a two, six in the row. So that's the nine, take the nine out, but there's a two here. So that's the six and that's the two. I need to look at that because of my pencil marks. So in this column, two, three, four, five, six. So these are one and seven. And again, I'll use the same almost invisible seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and eight go into those. And I'll use the six right next door. Um, the eight makes that the nine and that the eight. So this pair, which is one and two, I can resolve. So two and one. Um, okay, so this seven, nine, seven looks up making that the nine and that the seven. So in this column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, four and eight. Now, just quickly while I'm thinking about it, when I'm scanning, solving recreationally, I tend not to mark digits while I'm checking them off. I just do it in my head. But it means that people who are trying to follow along with the video can't do it. And I don't like doing that. This is four, this is eight. So this is a triple, which is one, two, three, one, two, five, nine. I mean, it depends on what I'm marking, but if I'm scanning a whole column, which can be hard to scan, eh, it varies. It depends on what's going on in my brain at the time, and you don't want to know what's going on in my brain most of the time. So let's look at these. The seven looks down making this six and this seven. There's something about given digits. I wish I knew what it was. So one, two, three, four, five, three and six go into those. And that three makes that the six, which makes that the three. The six looks across making that the five and that the six. The five looks across making that the two, which makes that the nine, which makes that the five. The nine makes this the two. One, two, three, I need to put in a four and I can't put it there, there because of that four. So that's the four, I'm falling off my mouse mat. And this becomes the nine and that's the correct solution to the puzzle, solution. That's the correct solution to the puzzle. That's a lot of fun. I mean, I loved that there was a potential bit of, of flexibility here and you needed to figure it out, but it still wasn't too brutal. That's really cool. Thank you, Mavericks JD. Mavericks JD is known for very hard puzzles, so it's really cool to get something that you can just go, yeah, that was a nice little walk in the park. Thank you, Mavericks JD. Really appreciate it. Hope everyone is enjoying the puzzles. And as always, good luck with your solving.